<coughs> Good luck. Keep your eyes on your own test. Turn it in when you're finished. Smarty Pants Bo here, ready to go after a perch bully today. I thought of any way to lead in a bully, it would be to dress up as a super cool person, of course, uh, being myself. We're going to Lenny Vallant to uh, chase down the perch bully, of course. I will show you what we are going to be using to go after this monster. And here we are, Lenny Villa. As far as I'm aware, there's really not anything you need to do, especially for weather or a type of day to be fishing on, but let's take a look at our inventory. Right now, we're using a Featherlight 7 foot, and what's great about the uh, Pike Fin Spoon, which we got by catching a lot of small pike at Lenny Villa earlier, as you might have seen in one of our live streams, Every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, they actually give you five of these pike fin lures, uh, pike fin spoons, I should say, so that you can use them on multiple rods if you really want to. Or if you lose one for some reason, then you have backups. Which is more than I can say about the old dendro fin spoon. Anywho, let's go ahead and, and uh, put on our uh, Lenny Vala Perch Bully Monster mission here. It's time to get out your sturdiest tackle and conquer the feisty perch bully to save the entire ecosystem of this lovely little pond. This monster is quite hard to find, so make sure to look in the pond's most remote spots. I have a feeling this guy will be around vegetation, so I'll be looking around for different weeds and uh, lily pads and stuff like that. I really, I don't know why it's gonna be that hard to find, but I if they say so. On this feather light, back to gear, of course, we have this seven foot, uh, three to nine pound feather light here with a Callisto MG 2500, 7.7 .7 pounds on that. And then we have monofilament line, six pounds with a uh, seven pound titanium leader. You might be able to get away with a mono leader. That, that'd probably work just fine. But ever since the Dendrofin, I don't trust it anymore. So I just started using titanium. I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. And then of course we have the pike fin spoon. So uh, yeah, let's get out to Lenny Villa and see if we can catch this monster. Well, here we are, Lenny Villa. There's something you might see about Lenny Villa. It's very open. Even though it's a very small lake, it's very open and there's not much vegetation going on except for these little hat tails. Don't look like cats to me. Um, but yes, there's cattails around and on the very ends of this lake, as you'll see here on the map, there's lily pads on this side and there's lily pads on this side with more vegetation. I think that we'll end up finding him on one of these sides. Let's just go ahead and see. We will see that we are fishing during the best time of the day, which is right here in the morning on this particular day. But just going through all the rest of the days, I'm guessing if you just fished in the yellow, you'd probably be okay. Let's run all down. It makes me tired just watching him. Go, he now go. All right, we're here. I'm assuming if we just kind of play off the sides of these lily pads, we'll probably run a pretty good chance of catching him. I would like to say that when it comes to catching monster fish, I never know how the drag's gonna be, so I always lower it down pretty low. I'm gonna go with two out of six here, and uh, if, if he ends up, you know, giving us a little bit of space in our meters, then, you know, I'll raise the drag as, you know, uh, as we need to. But here we go. Let's go ahead and try to get this fish on. Oh, we have a fish on, but it could just be a regular perch. He's fighting a little bit anyway.
Oh my golly gee. Well, by George, we caught the Perchaboli! This is our first fish we caught! Oh, oh my gosh! That's right! I'll teach you never to mess with any smarty pants bows out there! My god. <laughs> that, was the, that, was the, that was the That was like next to the easiest monster fish we've caught. <laughs> what was the other one? What was the, zo the zombie cat? We just like tossed it in there and just pulled him out immediately. The perch bully, everyone! How about that? How, yeah, I mean, oh, stop flapping around. Stop flapping. Stop trying to take a screenshot of you. Stay still. You wanna spin? You wanna spin, bro? There we go, the perch bully, everyone. What more can you say? Wasn't that uh, wasn't that hard at all? We came out here the feather light rod, seven pounds. Uh, this dude's only 4.472. I believe they go up into the sixes. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to catch more or not, but this guy, let's see here. See what he now thinks about him. Look at that. Smile on his face. If that's not an upgrade in the life of Hinel, I don't know what is. That is a beautiful little fish there. Perch Bully, of course. And uh, Hinel is looking pretty fly, bro. Looking pretty fly, man. Let's get a pick here. Stop. You're like a propeller on a freaking boat or something. Top notch, everyone. Well, what more can you say? The Perch Bully Monster, $325, 4.472 pounds. They do get bigger, like I said, 248 XP. And we'll get this here. See what it says about this, the Lenny Villa Perch Bully Monster. Congratulations with your monster catch. Here are some great rewards for you. 920 XP, $1,945, two bait coins, and of course the Perch Bully Mount to go along with our year one of monster mounts. Fantastic, fantastic everyone. Uh, really can't say much more. The monster fish, our first monster fish of the new season. Caught, hooked them, held them up for the world to see. And now we slapped him onto a wall mount and we're gonna hang him up on our non-existent lodge and fishing planet. <laughs> Pretty awesome though. I hope this video was helpful in some way. Make sure if you've caught the Perch Bully Monster or if you're planning to go after him sometime in the future, hopefully this video was helpful. Comment down below what your plans are or how easy it was for you. I'd love to see it. Obviously gonna put out the same thing as we put out last year. If you make a BZ Hub pumpkin, by golly, send me a picture in the Discord and I'll make sure it shows up in one of these awesome Halloween extravaganza videos. Like the video before it leaves your brain and subscribe to the BZ Hub if you haven't already. It really helps us out. Hope you're all ready for the rest of the Halloween extravaganza. I know I surely am and I know my brother's looking forward to some of these videos I have planned. <laughs> hey, take care everyone. We'll see you in the next video. And as always, remember, we're one planet, one family, Game on.